The boys basketball team at Italy High School in Ellis County has a lot to be proud of. They do. They lost their playoff game, but earned a lot of respect for how they played. Fox 4's Lori Brown reminds us sometimes winning really isn't everything. It was the last two minutes of the regional semifinals between the Italy Gladiators and the Tenaha Tigers. Emotions were high as Italy saw the game spinning out of reach. But then a few players noticed something even the ref had not. Tenaha put in a player who was physically and mentally disabled. And I uh, gave them a 33 ball. I told them, come here. Our crowd didn't know. They were like, what are you doing? We're losing. But the crowd figured it out quickly and gave the referee an earful when he gave Dusty Thomas two penalties. They called travel and double dribble on him twice. Norwood explained the situation to the referee. He said, y'all boss, so I just gave it back to the kid. Thomas made a shot. <laughs> and the Italy players continued to dish him the ball three more times before the game ended. So we made eye contact and we knew what the right thing to do was. I was like, it doesn't matter. It's just time to get him a time to shine. Time stood still uh, for a moment and uh, we were able to enjoy the moment. Um, did it catch, catch us off guard? No doubt about it. Athletic director David Weaver watched it all play out from the stands. We were able to, as, again, as a community, um, take a time out, um, if you would, and enjoy the moment. Italy High School hasn't had a state championship in over 20 years, and the community was hoping that this team could be the one to bring that trophy home. It would be the last one on the right. Weaver was on that championship team in 1997. He says he's just as proud of his players now as he would be if they'd won the trophy. Those last two minutes um, is something that uh, will last longer uh, than a trophy. In Italy, Lori Brown, Fox 4 News. All right, we weren't able to speak with Dusty Thomas's father because he was working today, but we did speak by phone with his coach who told us Thomas is a hard worker who shows up to every practice and that their entire team was impressed by Italy's sportsmanship.